Diamonds are a flash of brilliance from Mother Nature. Formed in the Earth's crust by intense heat and pressure, they're prized for their crystalline beauty. But now, Mother Nature has some serious competition because gem-quality diamonds are actually being grown in laboratories. Diamonds grown in labs are dazzling even the skeptics. While lower-grade diamonds have long been grown for industrial use, they were more grit than glitter. But these diamonds have that gem-quality sparkle. They start with a robotic laser. It slices slivers from a chunk of real diamond to produce tiny wafers. They're five millimeters wide and a quarter millimeter thick. That's about as thin as a human hair. The laser blackens the diamond, so they place it on a steel block for polishing. They rim the wafer with epoxy to keep it from sliding around. This epoxy requires an activator, so they brush it on next. The chemical reaction causes the epoxy to solidify in seconds to firmly secure the sliver on the block. They screw the block to a threaded rod that's attached to a metal arm. They lower the block and its diamond wafer onto a wheel that's swirling with diamond grit. They apply weights to press the diamond wafer into the grit. And as the wheel spins, it creates the necessary friction to polish away the grime. A level confirms the wafer is correctly positioned. Diamonds are the hardest of minerals, and only other diamonds can effectively polish one. The difference is impressive. The diamond wafer has gone from sooty to crystal clear, and now it's ready to grow. A technician places several wafers on a special metal pedestal using a suction tool. He arranges them in a uniform pattern, giving them room to expand, because these slivers of diamond are destined for bigger things. He lowers a metal chamber over them. Pumps inject hydrogen and methane gas, and the machine heats them to thousands of degrees at just the right pressure. The gases form a plasma, which rains onto the diamond wafers and causes them to grow. After just two weeks, the diamond slivers have grown into stones at least 10 times the original size. It's quite a transformation, but these diamonds in the rough need a lot more work to really sparkle. They dab epoxy onto the tip of a pointed steel rod called a dock and center the lab-grown diamond on the epoxy-coated tip. Then it's into the laser booth, where the dop is gripped by a robotic arm. It turns it so a laser can trim the lab-grown diamond from all sides. The process exposes the crystal clarity of the gem. A technician checks the quality of the lab-grown diamond with a jeweler's magnifying glass. Then she lowers it into another polishing wheel. It's similar to the one that was used to clean it when it was just a sliver. But this wheel actually contours the grown stone to give it that classic diamond shape. The process brings out all of its glittering facets. It's taken just a couple of weeks to grow this diamond. The process puts geology on fast forward because it takes tens of millions of years for real forces to push real diamonds to the Earth's surface. Only very sophisticated testing can separate the lab-grown diamonds from the mined ones. But since they cost 15% less, you'll notice the difference in your pocketbook.
If you have any comments about the show, or if you'd like to suggest topics for future shows, drop us a line at sciencechannel.com forward slash how it's made.